In this episode of Hacks Weekly, you will see dumping of the local security authority subsystem.exe, so lsas.exe file, from the VMware vSphere virtual machine using snapshots. Discover how this technique enables attackers to obtain a full memory dump of the ELSAs. And uh, that is, of course, a process that stores sensitive logging credentials. By leveraging snapshots, attackers can bypass security mechanisms and extract passwords or access tokens, allowing for privileged escalation across the entire network. This method of data exfiltration poses a serious threat to a virtualized environment. For the scenario presented here, let's assume that we have taken control on the VMware ESX or vCenter. We see that there is a running virtual machine in the acquired environment and we don't want to stop it so as not to raise suspicion. However, let's check if maybe the console is unlocked. We will also try trivial passwords. However, without success. Let's now try to take a snapshot of the running VM along with memory. After taking the snapshot, we will go to the storage and then to the directory where the VM disk file is located. We download the snapshot memory status files vmem and vmsn. We navigate to our working directory to which we downloaded vmem and vmsn files. Then we use the vmss to core tool to convert the snapshot files to a memory dump file. In our case, it is uh, in the installed VMware workstation software. When we have a valid memory.dmp snapshot, we run WinDBG. We choose File, then Open Crash Dump. We choose Memory.dmp. We perform a reload. We load the Mimikatz library. We display information about the ELSAS EXE process. And we use the process command with the R and P switches and the ELSAS.EXE program pointer. Now we use the Mimikatz command, which displays all the authentication IDs found in the ELSAS process. We select the entire result, copy it, and we open a text editor for a faster search of the result. In our case, it is Notepad++. We paste the result into the text editor and then search for all occurrences of the pass w string through the text. In the results, we found the password p at ssw 0 rd which is assigned to the user CQ. Thank you so much for watching our Hacks Weekly and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let us know what you think in the comment section.